Good morning, YouTube. It's Cab Over Gary back here. I'm out with my junk, but uh, gonna try to get some more stuff done today. Uh, I think the Freightliner is leaving pretty soon, so I really need to get it cleaned out. Um, but yeah, let me flip you around. So, as you guys know, I do some dumpsters, uh, roll off dumpsters on that trailer. So, uh, it rained here and it dump was messy yesterday. So, I think I'm gonna wash that. I'm also gonna go back to, I think it's gonna be called Kevy because it's a Kenworth and it's heavy, but I don't know. So, still gotta figure out tanks. I don't know what I'm gonna do there. But I want tanks on both sides. Uh, the air tanks are going inside, so I wanna take them off. I did score a cross member this week, so that will go right here. I feel like there could be another one there. But uh, I don't know if there was from the factory or if it needs one there. So uh, if not, my batteries, I'm going to move the batteries on the inside of the frame there, I think, make some uh, holders for it. But I still got some oil field stuff to take off. And uh, I really want to get this a little cleaner. Uh, I'm going to take off these for now. I think I'm going to save these for now because I got a cool round head and they fit pretty good. Uh, so I'll probably save those brackets, but uh, because I definitely want some sort of fenders on it, but I'm not sure what yet. So guys, I think I have a problem I decided to figure it out. So if the fifth wheel's set, you know, where it should be, I'm worried that the distance from the fifth wheel to the back of the frame is going to be too long to hook to a regular trailer. I think it might get into the landing gear. Uh, so these axles are spread farther apart. And I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, but that's, that's something i got to figure out and move from there. Uh, so future plans are... Uh, once I get all that stripped off, I'm going to pull the tank off. I'll have the whole back of the frame dewired and everything. And I'm going to have a guy come out and sandblast. And he's going to get under the cab frame as good as possible. And then uh, I think he's also going to do the rivet lines uh, of the cab. Uh, and, uh, huck lines. Uh, I decided I am going to spray the cab over again just because the paint on there, I'm worried that it's gonna flake off. But uh, yeah, today I really need to get the Freightliner cleaned up, meaning my toolbox. Uh, for you guys that haven't seen this, I think it's probably locked. I was out here earlier though, and I don't remember if I did. Yeah, it's locked. I'll get the key and get in there. I got a mess going on. like. I was just fed up with this thing and just left a mess. So I really need to get it organized. It picked up. I'm gonna put the grill back in it. Get some, uh, probably when I foam cam in this, I'm probably gonna foam cam in this so it's cleaner for the guy too. But uh, yeah, L10 parts. Uh, so the guy's not using the L10. Cool thing is if you guys don't uh, subscribe to a channel called Rob's Truck Stop, or Shop, Rob's Truck Shop, I'll put a picture here. You guys should, because uh, he does a lot of cool content. Uh, he's got a Ford and a International. International, he swapped uh, Detroit into. It's a Lodestar. And really cool trucks. He does really good work. Really good guy. Well, his Ford has an L10 in it, and uh, I'm going to send him up the Jakes off of this Freightliner. So, uh, so yeah, that would be cool. Uh, Jakes are always a fun thing to have, so uh, looking forward to that. So, uh, so let's go look at this over here because i got to clean this, too. So my dumpster trailer got really dirty yesterday. So I'm hoping I'm going to get that cleaned up too. Uh, 
mess over here isn't mine. I've, I've rent out here. That's somebody else's junk. But uh, I like to plug the trailer in so I can charge it. So that's why it's here. Uh, there's something else that I have that I haven't let you guys know about yet. Look over here. Uh, when I bought the backhoe, she also had a couple other things uh, that she was getting rid of. And I bought from her. And uh, they're over here. And uh, I mean... They're cool. I did not need one of them at all, but I bought it mostly for uh, the accessories that came with it. So I'll bring you over. So it's a Massey T30. It drove onto the trailer several years ago. So it's not in terrible shape. My plan is just to get it running and I'm probably gonna pass it on because I have that four to eight in that I'm finishing up. But uh, I wanted the mower, so it's got the brush hog, and then it's got the box blade. And I wanted those two things is why I bought it. Uh, so that was the main reason. But uh, this tractor, I think, with a pressure wash and get going, I think it would be a pretty decent little tractor. It needs a seat. But, uh, but yeah, and look at what the guy... That owns the storage lot found out here. Let me flip it. So, that is the thumb to my backhoe. The hydraulic cylinder, it looks like it started to get rebuilt. The thumb and the brackets for it all. So, uh, that is awesome. I was super stoked when he told me that that was in here. So, that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to get it out and we'll look at it a little better. So, here it is. It's... That brand, I'm not sure what brand it is, but uh, that sucker is heavy. Uh, it looks like this ear might be bent out a little bit. I have to work on that. And then there's the cylinder and the pin. But uh, I was wondering, I knew this thing had a thumb on it at one time because it has the plate up there. But uh, I was wondering why that pin was bigger. And that uh, explains all that. So, uh, if any of you guys know if there's supposed to be a spacer in here, I'd uh, love to know that as well. But there's the hydraulic lines for it. So, uh, yeah, everything's here. Uh, this is the remote for the thumb. So, yeah, that'd be nice to have. Uh, Definitely make things a little more versatile. Looking forward to that. But uh, let's get some work done. Well guys, we got a lot of mess to pick up, so I'm gonna start with that. This whole truck's a mess. Lots of garbage here. And kind of working and stuff out of it and not putting stuff back when I was doing the stuff on the motor but uh this side I built this rack that holds uh I think there's seven binders and I throw chains there that was just for this trailer and then over here I had a toolbox so this used to have 10 straps up top and then this is kind of my little toolbox that I had on the road, full set of wrenches. This head was full. And then this was full too, but I've been kind of using the stuff. Big stuff that was in here. And then this one had just miscellaneous stuff. But uh, yeah, I gotta clean this all out. I gotta lift the cab up because there's tools under there. And then I gotta clean out this compartment has a bunch of stuff in it. So two bins, my little polishing thing I kept on the road, some wheels there. Other sides the same. So yeah, I'm just gonna start uh, moving stuff to the truck. I'll put you guys on a time lapse.
garbage everywhere. So we got the motor compartment cleaned up. He's pulling it out, so I just gotta make sure everything's safe to travel. It's uh, going, what, probably three or 400 miles from here to the shop he's got worked out. But uh, that was the big thing, is I didn't have the motor mount in on the front. So that's in, I gotta find one more bolt. You know, it's been a couple months, stuff, something walked away on me, I gotta find it. Uh, but other than that, uh, this is safe to travel. Uh, I still got a little bit of cleaning up to do. Uh, I gotta clean out this box and then my sleeper and then uh, clean the bed off. And then we should be pretty good to go after that. Um, so yeah. Hey guys, it's been a long day. So I got the Freightliner all cleaned out. All my stuff is out of it. Engine's back in it. Or while well, the mounts are back in it. All that's good. Didn't do anything to the Kenworth, unfortunately. I was hoping to get to it. But I did get uh, a little bit of pressure washing done. So I basically just rinsed off my truck. I didn't really dry it or anything, so it's all spotted. But at least all the... And the trailer. The trailer is bad. It took me a long time on that. But uh, it's much better. And this is much better. So yeah, it was kind of a jumping around video again, but uh, look at all these. As it was all in my truck. It's crazy how much I had in that toolbox on that truck. Uh, now I gotta go home and put it somewhere. So then I guess my day is not over yet, but uh, yeah, I'm tired. I'm gonna go home. Organize those tools and call it a day. I'll catch you guys sometime this week. I'll get something going.